हेलो एंड नमस्ते टू द स्टूडेंट्स एंड ऑल आर वैल्यू व्यूअर्स यू आर वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो शरीज ऑफ टीस नेपाल इन दिस वीडियो आर डील विद यूनिट 11 टू यूनिट 20 ग्रामर पार्ट ऑफ ग्रेड 11 कंपलसरी इंग्लिश इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई अपलोडेड द क्विक रिवीजन फ्रॉम यूनिट 1 टू यूनिट 10 इफ यू मिस दिस प्लीज वॉच द वीडियो आई प्रोवाइड यू द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो Now let's get started with unit 11. It's relative clause. A relative clause is a part of sentence. Uh, so there are two types of relative clauses, defining relative clauses and non-defining. Defining simply defines uh, the subject there and non-defining relative clause give, provides us extra information about the subject, right? Uh, basically in non-defining there we need to use comma in order to separate the extra information jun chai hami extra information pachi tela remove garna pani sakchau right so who whom whose which where that these kind of relative pronouns are used to form uh, relative clauses esma chai hami lai main bhaneko chai you need to be able to find out whether some relative clauses are defining or non defining right uh, non how to define how to find out whether that is defining or non defining if there is extra information and if it is separated by comma parenthesis that's what you call non defining and if there is no comma simply the uh, use of relative pronoun to join the two sentences that's what you call defining right so here it is the textbook exercises you have been given you have to find out whether these are defining or non defining relative clauses defining non defining uh, we have uh, given you the answers here after the questions the first one this is the this is the house where i was born this is defining relative clause number b my aunt nita who is a journalist is coming to visit next week this is non-defining relative clause number c people who like outdoor activities will love our holidays this is um again defining relative clause right in this way number d non-defining because that is the use of comma to separate extra information number e that is again comma to separate extra information this is what called non-defining number f also non-defining number g this is defining number s this is non-defining um, right so there is uh, comma is missing there the snake that should be uh, comma which was in the garden last week that, and then comma belongs to our next door neighbor in this way we have to do these things so next exercise you have you need to join these sentences with the relative pronouns right he's a musician his albums have sold millions he is the musician whose albums have sold millions right who do we need to write because it's suitable to talk about someone's belongings or positions uh, amelia speaks english and chinese fluently she is from shanghai amelia who is from shanghai speaks english and chinese fluently i'm the first question defining banayu second question extra information by karne gada this is why non-defining banayu shakshon that's the stadium real madrid plays there that's the stadium where real madrid plays in this way we can form this and other answers you have been given below so please go through these answers now let's go to unit 12 unit 12 wish and regrets here you need to know how to form wish and regrets wish uh, when we don't have something we wish to get that and i'm saying like wish or song regret when we just repent or we just feel sorry for what we did wrong in the past past i mean regret so there are different structures for forming wishes uh, i wish uh, if only right i wish i could if only i could right plus bar one and if you do it yourself for example i i wish i could watch the tv next number if i wish if only i wish or if only subject plus would plus bar one help from others it means if only my friends would come here if only my parents uh, could call me in this way you can do this would could we can use both number c i wish if only i wish or if only plus subject plus above two in the, in the changing situation for example i wish i wasn't alone at home i wish i i was on holiday right i wish i had a car in this way you can use this past form also so these kind of three structures are used to form we say uh, uh, it is uh, what we uh, feel sorry for what we have done there right for example i wish i hadn't watched them was the late movie or 
the movie late night right so why she's saying i should not have gone to bed so late number d i wish i had gone to bed early right prati why saying i should have set the alarm clock this is how they miss their classes i know my lady saying मूवी लेट नाइट नरे को भाई हो छिटी बेद बेड में गए सुते को भाई हो राइट अथवा राइट आई सुड नट आई सुड हेव सेट द अलार्म मैं अलार्म सेट कर इन दिस वे वी कैन यूज दिज स्ट्रक्चर्स फर एक्सप्रेसिंग रिग्रेट्स फर्स्ट स्ट्रक्चर आई विच आई हेड नट प्लस बाउ थ्री राइट नेक्स्ट इज इफ आई सुड नट हेव डन दैट और आई सुड हेव डन दैट है मैं ये भाई होते ये नगर को भाई हो इन दैट वे सो द एक्सरसाइज यू यू हेव इन गिवन फ्रम द टेक्सट बुक इट्स यू हेव टू मेक विशेष Uh, using I wish if only in three different ways. Uh, number A, you don't have a mobile phone. You need one. I wish my father would buy me a mobile phone, right? Or if only someone someone would gift me a mobile, right? In that way, you can make sentences. Or I wish I had a mobile phone. You will be doing this in this way. Number B, you don't know the answer of a question from the lesson. I if only I knew the answer of the question. Or um, I wish my teacher would teach me this. Or If only I I got the answer myself, right? Number C, you can't play the guitar. I wish I could play the guitar. If only someone could teach me to play guitar, right? Or I wish I had. Uh, I wish I I took take guitar classes, right? In that way, we can do. It. It's cold. If only it was hot, right? I wish I wish I had. Um, you see. Hot clothes, right? Or these kind of things you can uh, write there. Or I wish I had a heater in my room, right? You are feeling sick. I wish I could go to hospital. If only uh, my parents were at home, right? In that way, uh, so you can think about this. So F and G also answers have been given. Please go to this. Now, I like a correction. Go over. Write the following sentences, making correction if necessary. Uh, I wish my father bought me a bike. Right. I wish my father would buy me a bike. One for if I wish my father would buy me a bike. Right. Because uh, somebody earlier got new. That's why I mean, would at work could plus power one girl. So I wish I could write poems. I wish I could write poems. It's fine. I I wish I could remember her name. It's correct. I wish I had a good job. It's correct. I wish I would be rich. I wish I could be rich. Or I wish I was rich in that way. You can correct. Now, express regrets using I wish or if only and should have or had with past participle based on the following situation. Your friend has betrayed you. I should not have believed her. You have got a cold. I wish I hadn't walked in the rain. You are lost in a town. I should have brought a map with me. Uh, you have lost your phone. If only I had left my phone at home, right? You could not attend your brother's wedding. If only I had finished my exams in this way, you can do these things, right? So let's move to unit thirteen. It's present perfect and past simple. Which one to use? It might be confusing. For example, I have done or I did, right? In that way. So first present perfect tense. It's the use of has have plus verb three with subject, right? It shows uh, the past action that has the effect till now, right? Past my boy. When I give someone this effect boy, go and put it inside. The structures of present perfect you have been given here. Please go through these things. Has a uh, plus verb three or hasn't or happened. That's about three, right? Next is uses of present perfect tense. You see, to express completed actions which have results at the present, right? Completed actions, just for saying, uh, present ma pani. This this has the effect, right? To express recent past actions which have results in the present. For example, he has got her finger. She has got her finger. It's bleeding now. I know. Pila boy pani. Adi pani. It's bleeding, right? There are other many things with scenes for also we use these things. Um, so past simple one, you can say right. Simply, it refers to the completed action in past past time, right? In a specific point of time there, and uh, it is the past simple is also frequently used to talk about past habits or generalization. Because in the past, we used to go to this to go to one of life. We use structure is there, subject plus verb two plus object. Simply, he ate an apple. I wrote an app. I wrote a lay novel, right? So in this way, negative matter did not plus verb one. He did not eat. We don't write. He did not eat, right? He did not eat, or I did not write. In that way, interrogative structures and other structures who have given you. Please go through these things. Then use of simple past, uh, completed action past. Ko lagi hai na? Jo time hai. Adverbs mein you use karte ho. The time, yesterday, right? Last month, last week, last years, years ago, right? Uh, in this way. Next is for past habits and with ages or scenes uh, with historical events. For example, Doctor Sanjeev uh, Upreti wrote uh, Ghana Chakar. 
right and with one action immediately after another he came and suggested us to read population theory right so with these things we use i've given you the examples also in the right hand side please go through these things uh, next uh, present perfect i have gone or past simple kunse use garne bhanna si it might be confusing it means do not use the present perfect i have done when you talk about a finished time it means yesterday 10 minutes ago is to kes ma jam ke use garchu past simple use garchu right when our child use past simple for example the weather was nice yesterday not has been nice they arrived 10 minutes ago they have arrived 10 minutes ago in they arrived 10 minutes ago if the past tense to ask when or what time for example what time they arrive when did they arrive or what time did you finish the work in this way we need to use the past simple or present perfect it is always a matter of confusion right we use the past simple or past events or actions which have no connections to the present and the uh, present perfect to talk about the completed actions which have impacts to the present time right i lost my keys yesterday i lost it right tomorrow you to aile huna pani sakcha haina yo halako tara aaja bhetek pani huna sakcha next i have lost my key bhakare harai ke samay agadi i can't find it haina bheti raheko chaina bhanne kura haru chai next we use been aba arko chai hamile jannu parne kura haru chai been ra gone ko use hai we use both been and gone to as the past participle of go but with different meanings right i have been to muktinath arko prem is on holiday he has been to ilam right बीन बने को गए फर्क सकते बुझी गन को गए तर न फर्क फर्क नक अवस्था चाहिए बुझ राइट सो आई गिवन यू द डिफ्रेंसेस बिट्विन प्रेजेंट पर्फेक्ट एंड पास सीम्पल यो हे भाई इफ यू गो टू दिस थिंग्स आई थिंक योर कंसेप्ट और योर कन्फ्यूजन विल बी क्लियर अबाउट प्रेजेंट पर्फेक्ट एंड पास सीम्पल सो मैं ये बीन रन को कई कुछ भू आई हेव बीन आई हेव बीन रिफर्स टू कम्प्लिकेटेड राइट हियर हेव बीन रिफर्स टू अ कम्प्लिटेड जर्नी राइट और गन आई हेव गन लाइक गई को तरह फर्क सकते भाई बुझी हाई सो लेट्स गो थ्रू दी एक्सरसाइज हियर टेक्सट बुक एक्सरसाइज पेज नंबर वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सेवेन हई आई डोट नो वेर मुना डेडट यू सी हर मीन्स हेव यू सीन हर अब हमें कुछ सुइटेबल हो प्रेजेंट पर्फेक्ट अथवा पास सीम्पल तो हम यू हेव टू वी हेव टू सी दिस लास्ट विक कारण हम के अफकोर्स विथ दिस टाइम एड भर होगा वी हेव टू यूज पास सीम्पल राइट लास्ट नाइट भि सको अलमोस्ट पास सीम्पल राइट आई डर माई किज कैन यू हेल्प मी लुक फर देम राइट सो भर्खर हरा को है खोजो भाई कुछ ला हेव लस्ट सो इट मीन्स आई हेव लस्ट माई किज इन दिस वे वी कैन डू दिस थिंग्स सो अदर एंसर्स दे हेव बिन गिवन हियर इन द ब्रैकेट सो अल अफ यू प्लीज गो थ्रू दिस थिंग्स राइट सो हेव बीन और हेव गन सो नाउ यू हेव टू फाइंड आउट दिस थिंग्स आई मेन्सन द आंसर्स इन द ब्रैकेट सो फर्स्ट ट्राई इट ऑन एर वन देन गो थ्रू दिस आंसर्स So, next unit, unit fourteen, must, can't, may, might. The modal auxiliaries here we have, or the these modal auxiliaries are used to uh, express the degrees of probability, also or certainty. So, use of may and might. May and might they are somehow uh, synony synonymously used here, but they have the uh, very degree of probability. When I go may, go to a little body, unsa might go a little calm, unsa right. They are used to say something is possible to describe, right? Or this is. Uh, possible to happen in the future she may be coming tomorrow it might rain tonight right una saksha bhanne kura haru chai may or might is used for the action which is possible but not decided i am not sure i may go to kashmani tomorrow i might study right esto garna saksha esto huna saksha bhanna ko lagi pani we have to use use of must and can't must bhaneko chai certain kura haru ko lagi sure kura haru ko lagi can't bhaneko chai not certain plus not ko lagi chai ami can't chai can't use garchau testo kura haru aayo bhane chai right So rewrite sentences using must, can't, may, might. You will be asked these questions. Yes, so half the questions are there. Answer. Study the following example. I am sure he is working. It means sure one. He must. Uh, he she must be working, right? Obviously, she want to work. She wasn't working. It means uh, wasn't. Obviously means sure, right? Wasn't means not. Was. It means he she can't have been working in this way. We have to do this. You say past continuous by calling like that. I mean, have been like you know, right? In that way, we can do these things. So, uh, must is used to replace. I'm sure, right? I'm convinced. Obviously, affirmative. I can't say not. Case may use garincha. May might say maybe. Perhaps it's possible. Case may use garincha. Hey. So I'm sure, convinced. Obviously, uh, obviously must. I'm sure, convinced. Obviously, uh, obviously or plus not. Then can't. In this way, per, perhaps or possible. That's may might. Perhaps not. Possible not. In the case may say we have to use may or may not. Right. In this way. Well, 
fill in the blanks with may, must, or can't. So answers have been given here. Please go through these. Eh? Matthew, the dot at home must be at home. I can see his bike in front of his home, right? Number B, they the dot may be coming tomorrow. They may be they may be coming tomorrow, right? In this way. Okay, rewrite the following sentences. So I like Zama Sodnej is to Halgu question must eh? You have to rewrite it. I'm sure he's not going to the cinema today. Sure plus not, it means he can't be going to the cinema today, right? Number B, perhaps she knows the answer. She may know the answer. You have to say she may know the answer, right? So please go on doing in this way, okay? Next, we have unit 15 sentence functions, all right? Sentence functions are parts of a sentence. Basically, we have uh, subject, verb, object, complement, adverbial. These are the parts of sentence. So, I just say, I'm lay parts of sentence. Okay. For example, divide the following sentences into different parts. The man will buy you a pen next week. It means the man. This is object. Will buy verb a pen object next week. This is adverbial. So, parts of sentence. Ma, our main part. Bani kuchhe subject or predicate onsa. Subject bani kuchhe that comes in the beginning. That's noun or pronoun. Right. So predicate bani kuchhe verb or object part lai jai. Ami predicate bani chhon. Right. Um, subject and predicate. Subject ko kudar mile bagiya bani ali. That comes in the beginning. By the noun or structure, noun phrase or structure, predicate bani kuchhe. That is the that is the verb and object part like I mean predicate one so object one ago you see that comes at last right and which uh, the verb passes its effect to object in case of transitive verb right and objects are of two types the direct object there the di direct object is a noun or pronoun that answers the question what or whom right after an action for example John ate the cake it means it answers the questions John ate what you know what at whom answer got any question or like I mean at what you object or like uh, direct object also, right Tammy saw her friend means it answered the question Tammy saw whom right these are the um, direct objects right K the cake or friend these are direct object indirect object when it for whom um, these kind of questions are asked there right uh, for whom to what or for what when you could answer the energy these are the indirect object for example walter bought doris a watch it means it answered the question walter bought a watch for whom kaska lagi got you at what kika lagi got you when you could have indirect object right so compliment when it was it is the uh compliment part there without it uh these without some sentences the sentence can remain incomplete right at it cannot be complete there or the thing that the sentence wants to deliver or say it may not be well completed right so to write a complete sentence you must include at least a subject and a predicate there of the equivalent i mean complement one so in uh, predicates that use uh, linking verbs rather than action verbs items following the verb these are what you call complements for example i am a teacher right teacher is complement here without teacher i am oh this is not sufficient right um so wait there, eh? example of compliments. She is beautiful. She becomes a doctor. She, he was in the bus. Your perfume smells very good, right? Before the show, she seemed nervous. So a word or a group of words that involve linking verbs. And then linking verbs, so mostly only word, particular uh, object line, keep on the right, the compliment on the right, the, thus the words, beautiful, a doctor in the bus, very good, these are what you call compliments. Modifier, when you uh, you see these are these can be adjectives or adverbs these are the modifiers just let's say uh, object lie at work lie modify right noun lie at object lie or work lie modify you know adjective they modify the noun <coughs> or pronoun then adverb they they modify the verb there at they show the manner of doing something <coughs> so adverbial uh, we can refer it to the time adverbial and you know, adverbial call it a sentence we say word it is what you call phrase also it's uh, called clause also for example in the morning in the night right so these, these are the adverbial clauses i was sick this is also uh, adverbial this is adverbial clause right and in the morning this is adverbial right so um, textbook solutions Divide the following sentences into different parts. So I have divided the different sentences here. Number A, the children are playing now. The children, its subject are like a verb, are playing verb, right? Now it, it's adverbial, right? Srijana will be reading its story. Srijana, uh, it, its subject will be reading its verb, right? Its story, 
it's a it's an object in that way you can divide this into different parts hey eh? so design please check it out okay number g to g to j here you have been given so you listen family uh, subject predicate object complement modifier adverbial go concept leo right now let's move to unit 16 it's used to use to consider use garden when equal i'm like past simple kura gade gada the past habit ko kura gade used to is that it's used obviously it's used to talk about our past habits past my stone too but i live on nobody that is right only to talk about the past habitual actions we use used to right we use uh, used to when we refer to the things in the past that are no longer true as at present past moment to try to move in for example i used to have long hair but now i have short hair and a pile of llama here on negative but now i have short hair i used to smoke but now he doesn't smoke and i design a smoke garden a pile of smoke got you right about while we talk about or why will we'll ask question we need to start with did did he use i mean he used to go no by now did he used to be a teacher or did he used to study french in that way we need to ask it structure of used to please go through these things subject plus used to or uh infinitive or plus or one that used to work in the bank right negative as it didn't used to use got so ws must say what did plus subject was used to for example what did you use to do in pokora yes no question ma did you used to what a sugar no problem right wrong use one question they didn't use government they didn't used or because i'm not used to going to you know i didn't used to go no problem right so i'm not used to having good set of i i am I didn't used to garden pani huncha right I am not used to having pani milcha but this is for experience you the experience for like use garden sir so please go through the textbook exercises given here and uh, rewrite the following sentence using used to uh, you can make a question i'm using question mark the question question not log action negative ma banaun pani huncha i live in a flat when i was a child right uh, i used to live in a flat when i was a child she uh, she love eating chocolate but now she hates it that means she used to love she used to love eating chocolate but now she hates it in this way please go through other answers d to f here g to g to j you have been given here all right okay now you're 17 to infinitive and gerund to infinity means two plus bar one and gerund means the combination of bar, bar one right bar five um, our past simple verb or ing form. So, that's a list. There goes a kun kun bab song. Was it two plus bab one lakshan? A four plus bab one, m plus two plus bab one, right? I afford to, right? M to agree to, allow to, appear to, arrange two plus bab one. We decided to hire a taxi. She invited him to dance. My brother has learned to drive. He refused to tell, right? In that way, we use two plus infinity. But I go two plus infinity. The kun case my use got some. But I go that. Yeah, mainly Janu. But I go that. Just Jaron confusing on a sucksa, right? You but I go that. Ye ora kunai. Jo jai justo yaha se he admitted stealing my pen, sir. Ing. Ye ora cha ing bar punsa ne. Tio band agar jai orko tio jai bab one, bab five, atwa that can be even bab two or past simple bab. Ani on a sucksa, right? Na I enjoy being invited. She loves working alone, right? In this way. Two verb or combination. Verb one, that is verb one. Ra ing bar verb four. Can you only buy it? Verb five or verb four? Can you only buy it? Verb two or verb four combination. Jun verb buy it? No, I know. Verb one, verb five, that is verb two. Songa say ing verb. I am saying this two combination. I am making one. So the gerund structure one. So verb plus prepositions are also followed by gerund. For example, my father gave up smoking. Gave. The op let's say. Tell us join. Can you answer? Gave or op? Gave or smoking? Co combination. I know. Went on writing, you know, went plus writing combination of that thing. Okay. Next, uh, just some verbs like begin, start, continue, intend, this kind of verb, right? They can be followed by either two infinitive or gerund without any changes in meaning. She began to learn English or she began learning English. Many but no second, sir. They have same meaning, okay? Um, so some verbs such as go on, mean, need, remember, regret, stop, try, uh, right? Abstract, try can be followed by either two infinitive or gerund for example she remember to lock the window she remember first then she locked it she remember locking the window right she locked it first and then she remember it right in that way okay you have been given other things there now your exercises 
write the following sentences using two infinitive or jaron form of the box given in the brackets appropriately did you fancy wear jeans do you fancy wear jeans or do you fancy wearing jeans right my father taught me dada a car to drive a car she allowed her daughter dada to the party to go he stopped dada hard work after you were sick he stopped working hard right in that way please check it out the answers given there now complete each sentence using what how where whether or one of these verbs with one of these verbs there friends do you know dada to ram's house how to get how to get to right how to get to ram's house or rama's house i don't know dada for the job or not i don't know whether to apply for the job or not number c where to go number d how to use number e how to write number f what to do right in this way please check it out paraphrase the following sentences it means rewrite using the verbs given in bracket as an example right she has lost her has lost her weight seem it means she seem seems to have lost her weight mais forgets closing the windows 10 mais tends to forget closing the windows right your car has broken down up here your car appears to have broken down in this way you can do these things as it is shown in the example everyone bol form ma diyeko cha tala answer haru please check it out so now we move to unit 18 reported speeds the most important okay reported speeds passive these are really important things अब ग्रेड नाइन टेन में धेरी पढ़े आने भाषा राइट सो द रिपोर्टेड स्पीच भाई बिथे इट सौ द फर्स्ट पर्सन टेल्स इट टू सेकेंड पर्सन सेकेंड पर्सन रिपोर्ट्स इट टू द थर्ड पर्सन को मतलब तो फर्स्ट पर्सन ले रेकेंड पर्सन ने एवटे वे में भादन है रिपोर्टेड स्पीच एट एले बोले कुछ बीले सुनेर बीले सिलाई बताऊँ सो दैट देर विल बी सम चेंजेस राइट देर विल बी चेंजेस इन प्रनाउन देर विल बी सम चेंजेस इन टेन्स देर विल बी सम चेंजेस इन टाइम एड बिल्स यू कैन गो टू दिस थिंग्स है हेर सकूँ के कसरी चेंज कर वर्क फॉर्म भी चेंज कर आर्स इन्क्वायर वाटेड टू टोल लेखि से सेटू भाई ठाक में है सुर हेड बेटर वाइनर भाई ठाक में सजेस्टेड फर द डेन्जर केसेस वन है थ्रेट एंड इफ नट इसको कर कमांडेड अर्डर इंपरेटिव सेंटेन्स को केस में सेड को ठाक में सेड नहीं लिख एक्सक्लेम्ड विथ प्लस इमोशन्स लिख है एक्सक्लामेटरी सेंटेन्स केस में राइट अब्जेटिव सेंटेन्स में फरक हुए में हमी प्लिज सी दिस थेबल ओके गो थ्रू दिस थेबल दे कुछ टेन्स होता कुछ टेन्स में चेंज करने तो डाइरेक्ट में सीम्पल प्रेजेंट होता सीम्पल पास प्रेजेंट कंटिन्स पास कंटिन्स इन दैट वे अभी सब प्रेजेंट को आस्पेक्ट पास को आस्पेक्ट में जान पास सीम्पल विल बी चेंज इन टू प्रेज पास पर्फेक्ट राइट इन दैट वे इट्स चेंज मस्ट इन टू हेड टू तर कहीं यू रिस्पोन्सिबिलिटी को मस्ट मस्ट मेट रह अब्लिगेसन को हेड टू में चेंज होने भाई अदरवाइज इट डजन गेट चेंज राइट सो यू सी द टाइम एड रिवील्स यस्टर्डे द डेट बिफोर द प्रिवियस डे अ फ्यू मिनट्स अगो अ फ्यू मिनट्स बिफोर अर्ल इयर लास्ट नाइट द नाइट बिफोर द प्रिवियस नाइट लास्ट विक इन द सेम वे वी हेव टू चेंज बट कहीं कहीं कुछ रिपोर्टेड स्पीच में कुछ टेन्स हमें चेंज कर देन कुछ सेंटेन्स जेनरल ट्रुथ एक्सप्रेस कर चेंज कर दिन फर इक्जापल कपर्निकस से द प्लानेट रिवल्व अराउंड द सन राइट इन दैट वे नेक्स्ट इज द वर्ब अफ द सेंटेन्स राइट ये अनरियल टेन्स में छि फर इक्जापल ही सेट इफ आई वन द लटरी आई वुड ट्रावल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड अर्क द इंट्रोडक्टरी भर्ब इन ये भर्ब फॉर्म से सेज अथवा भाव फाइव विल प्लस भाव वन है एज एप प्लस भाव थ्री राइट तस्त केस में छि तो टेन्स चेंज करें ओनली प्रनाउन एंड टाइम एड एड रिवील दे आर चेंज दे सो टेक्सट बुक एक्सरसाइज इज ना डाइरेक्टली हाई तब चेंज द फलोइंग सेंटेन्सेस फलोइंग इन टू इंडाइरेक्ट स्पीच सी सेड वाइल आई वज हेविंग डिनर द फोन रैंक सी सेड दैट वाइल सी वज हेविंग डिनर द फोन रैंक सो दिस इज नो चेंज राइट इट्स इन पास देर और वाइल्डली कनेक्ट कर भर इट मे नट बी चेंज देर नंबर बी माई फ्रेंड सेड वेर आर दे स्टेइंग राइट माई फ्रेंड आस्ट वेर दे वेर स्टेइंग राइट सी जमीला जमीला सेड आई ट्रावल अ लट इन माई जब जमीला सेड दैट सी ट्रावल अ लट इन अर जब इन दैट वे वी टू चेंज पास प्रेजेंट टू पास राइट टाइम आर रियल प्रनाउन राइट फर्स्ट पर्सन प्रन लॉन द थर्ड पर्सन राइट इन दैट वे सो यू हेव इन अब यू ये कुछ करूँ नाउ दैर इज नो प्रब्लम सो सीम्पल पास एंड पास कंटिन्स डू नट नर्मली चेंज इन सेंटेन्सेस विथ इफ है इफ आई को केस में सीम्पल पास पास कंटिन्स चेंज कर बिकज दिज आर दी इमेजिनरी कंडीशंस राइट ओके डाइरेक्ट स्पीच इन डाइरेक्ट स्पीच
मस्ट चाहिँ कहिले ह्याड टु हुन्छ कस त्यो चाहिँ मस्ट नै बस्छ भनेको ड्युटी हो भने हामीले सधैँभरि गर्नु पर्छ यो चाहिँ मस्ट नै हुन्छ फर एक्जामपल ही सेड वी मस्ट हेल्प द नीडी पीपल ही सेड दैट वी मस्ट हेल्प द नीडी पीपल बट अब्लिगेसन हो हैन बाध्यात्मक अवस्था ही सेड आई मस्ट गो राउन्ड ही सेड दैट ही ह्याड टु गो देन राइट इन दिस वे यू ह्याव टु युज मस्ट सो यु नीड 19 ग्रामर अर्को इम्पोर्टेन्ट पार्ट है यो चाहिँ पैसिभ एक्टिभ एन्ड पैसिभ सो एक्टिव एंड पैसिव को पहले कंसेप्ट बुझ्न पर्यो एक्टिव भोइस इज यूज टू ट यूज टू गिव फोकस प्राइटी टू एजेंट है जल्द काम कर फोकस कर एंड पैसिव सेंटेज इज यूज टू फोकस अन वर्क है एजेंट भाव वर्क फोकस करना के भो है कसली के गो भाई कुछ फोकस करना को वेन वी हेव टू पे एटेन्सन और वेन वी हेव टू एम्फोसाइज और फोकस अन वर्क देन वी हेव टू यूज पैसिव फर एक्जापल द डोर इज क्लोज वी डोट नो हू क्लोज दर है कल गए भाई द डोर इज क्लोज है द भैस इज ब्रोकन राइट इन दिस वे वी हेव टू यूज पैसिव भोइस सो पैसिव भोइस में सब भक्ति फर्म होता क्योंकि यो हमें भाई भर चाहे वी हेव टू यूज भक्ति इन अल कैंड अफ पैसिव सेंटेन्सेस राइट बट तैंस एक्जुलेटिव भव इज एम आर वॉज वेर हेज एव बीन एन आई विल विल बी विल हेव बीन डिफ्रेंट काइंड अफ एक्जुलेटिव आर यूज दर सो प्लिज गो थ्रू दिस स्ट्रक्चर्स ओके यू हेव बीन गिवन दिज एक्सरसाइजेस राइट लेटर डेलिवर बाई द पोस्टमैन एवरी डे आर डेलिवर राइट द दिस बैग फाइन इन द बस ये स्टडे वॉज फाउंड यूज कर प्रेजेंट में होने भाई प्रेजेंट टेन्स को पैसिव होता है पास्ट को फ्यूचर को सब टेन्स को होने भर चाहिए यू हेव टू यूज दोज काइंड अफ एक्जुल प्रेजेंट में इजीएम आर यूज कर पास्ट में वॉज वेर राइट अथवा हेड यूज कर फ्यूचर में विल बी अथवा विल हेव बीन प्लस भव थ्री है बेसिकली हेज हेव हेड प्लस भव थ्री आई केस में हम यू हेव टू यूज बीन दर राइट सो यू हेव बीन आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन इन योर टेक्स बुक इन चेंजिंग इट इन टू पैसिव आई डिन फिक्स द प्रब्लम द प्रब्लम वज एंड फिक्स बाई मी राइट इन दिस वे यू हेव टू डू दिस थिंग्स सो प्लिज गो थ्रू दिस आंसर्स की बन हियर फर्स्ट ट्राई इट अन्यर वन ते पीछे चेक कर इट विल बी कन्विनियंट फर यू अल्सो आर यू लर्न इट अन्यर वन ओके अब टू क्यू इट्स की बन दर रोक एट हमें जान् पर्ने बिंग रैविंग को कुछ बेला बिंग रैविंग यूज करने तो है जो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सी लाइक्स पीपुल टेकिंग हर फोटोग्राफ्स इट्स अ पोजिटिव केस अब इसमें जो नंबर टू को आई लाइक सम वन हेल्पिंग इन माई नीड अब हमें था पाने पर्यो प्रनाउन यूज कर जो रेफ्लेक्सिव प्रनाउन अथवा पोजिटिव प्रनाउन हो कि रेफ्लेक्सिव प्रनाउन हो मी केस अथवा माई केस यदि मी आई को केस अथवा यू सी हिज हर प्लस पोजिशन छेस में हमी हेविंग यूज कर रेफ्लेक्सिव केस मत है तो केस में हमें के यूज कर बींग यूज कर राइट तेल रेफ्लेक्ट मत कर बट इट डजेंट सो एनी पोजिशन इस पर हम बींग यूज कर फर एक्जापल सी लाइक्स हेविंग हर फोटोग्राफ्स टेकन आई लाइक सम वन हेल्पिंग इन माई नीड्स आई लाइक बींग हेल्प इन माई नीड है सो नीड को लगी हम सरी नंबर टू को लगी हम के यूज कर बींग यूज कर सो सरी दिस नंबर टू को रेफ्लेक्सिव केस हाई इस माई राइट माई नीड्स इट्स फोकसिंग अन राइट सो आई लाइक सम वन आई लाइक सम वन सल्विंग माई प्रब्लम्स आई लाइक हेविंग माई प्रब्लम्स सल्व इन दैट वे हमें मी केस रई केस पोजिटिव केस रेफ्लेक्सिव केस छुट्या सको वी कैन डू इट प्रपरली सो नाउ लेट्स गो टू यूनिट ट्वेंटी द लास्ट लेसन अफ ग्रेड इलेवेन कंपलसरी इंग्लिश आर्टिकल्स अ एन द को यूज करने आर्टिकल्स डेफिनेट आर्टिकल द इंडेफिनेट आर्टिकल अ एन बने द यूज कर लिमिट कुछ कुछ फोकस कर एन वी इट्स जेनरल है कुछ भी पर्टिकुलर कुछ फोकस कर राइट यूज अफ इंडेफिनेट आर्टिकल अ बने लेटर यदि कंसोनेंट लेटर सरी कंसोनेंट साउंड सुनी हेव टू यूज अ है कुछ वर्ड तो भावल लेटर बार सुरू होता साउंड कंसोनेंट भाई वी हेव टू यूज अ फर एक्जापल अ यूरोपियन अ यूनिवर्सिटी राइट अ यूनियन अ वन आइड बोय और अ वन आइड पर्सन इन दैट वे राइट सो अदर यूज एज हेव कि यू मे मोस्टली साउंड में झुके भर चाहे राइट स्टोन्स दे फेस प्रब्लम वाइल यूजिंग अ एन एन अब एन को यूज भी हो एन को यूज भावल साउंड भाई भावल लेटर भो कंसुनेंट साउंड होने सकता रही कंसुनेंट लेटर भो भावल साउंड होने सकता फर एक्जापल यू सी दैट अनेस्ट है एच ओ एन एस टी अनेस्ट एच तो कंसुनेंट लेटर हो बट इसको साउंड के इनिशियल साउंड भावल होने वाक राइट वी हेव टू यूज एन राइट सो द को यूज स्पेसिफिक कुछ है ओनली बडिज है द प्लानेट राइट और दी ओन्ली वन अब्जेक्ट दैट इज फाउंड इन द अर्थ राइट 
so with these things so arko kura chai kunai noun lai athwa subject lai repeat garincha second time bhane tyai hamile jasto as i saw a girl in the park the girl was dazzlingly beautiful in that way we have to use okay in the musical instrument ko agadi pani use garincha but piano ko agadi chai a pani use garincha bhanecha next ab sea ko ocean ko haina rivers ko mountains ko agadi da use garincha right holy books sacred books haru ko agadi newspaper national newspaper haru ko agadi nationalities ko agadi for example the hindus the friends right अथवा रेसिस को अगड़ी फेमस बिल्डिंग को अगड़ी भी यूज कर राइट ओके अर्क सुपरलेटिव को अगड़ी द हाइएस्ट द टलेस्ट द मोट मोस्ट इंटेलिजेंट राइट विथ दिज थिंग्स अल्सो वी नीड टू यूज सो जेरो आर्टिकल को यूज हेन सकूँ है मैन इज मोटल अथवा हमें कमन नाउन को अगड़ी अब वी डोट यूज इट राइट गेम को अगड़ी यूज करतेन मिल्स को अगड़ी ब्रेकफास्ट डिनर है लंच डिनर को अगड़ी यूज करतेन आर्ट को अगड़ी लैंग्वेज को अगड़ी यूज करतेन राइट जर्मन इंग्लिस नेपाली वी डोट यूज दिस सो दिस थिंग ये कुछ था पाए यू कैन इजली डू द टास्क गिवन इयर सो प्लिज चेक आउट द एंसर्स फर्स्ट ट्राई इट अन यर वन है एंसर्स दे हेव बिन गिवन आफ्टर द आफ्टर इज क्वेश्चन फर इक्जापल इज यू वर्किंग एज अ यूनिवर्सिटी प्रोफेसर राइट हमें यू अगड़ी भे तपन हमें के लिए यही कंसोनेंट को ये प्रनाउंस होने भर है फर्स्ट में य प्लस यू यूनिवर्सिटी सो अ यूनिवर्सिटी प्रोफेसर सो इन दिस वे कुन में आर्टिकल चाहिए चाहिए कुन में आर्टिकल चाहिए आई हेव प्लेस इट हियर सो प्लिज चेक इट आउट नेक्स्ट यू हेव बिन गिवन टू फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स सो आई हेव फिल इट देर इन दैट वे एंड अनलाइन द आंसर प्लिज गो थ्रू दिस थिंग्स सो थैंक यू सो मच फर वाचिंग द भिडियो टी लाउ आई होप यू फाउन द भिडियो वेरी प्रोडक्टिव फर यूर एक्जामिनेशन एंड फर द क्विक रिविजन सो प्लिज इफ यू लाइक द भिडियो प्लिज सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल and help us by sharing this thank you so much for watching our video